In this series, I want to go over uh, how to create an opening sequence where we show some text on the screen and then we fade it out and then we move into our player controller. So first, I want to show you what I have. <clears throat> I have a simple scene here. I was doing some tests with some other characters. But if I press play, uh, just ignore the little ray casting debug. If I press play, uh, you'll see I go straight into the game. And what I want to do is I want to start an opening cutscene that displays some text or some passage, and then we'll fade that out, maybe even do a quick camera pan and switch to a different camera just to show you that you can do an opening level shot. And then after that, finally, I will move back to my player camera. So to do that, first of all, we're going to have to utilize the UI system. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project contents and I'm going to right click and create and go down to user interface. And I want to create a widget. I can think of a widget as just a, a piece of information that goes on your UI. So it can be a health bar uh, or maybe even a health panel. Um, player stats or whatever. And for me, I'm just going to make a pretty much a full screen widget and display some text information on there. So again, right click user interface and widget blueprint. Um, I'm going to name this intro text UI, I think would be appropriate. Uh, what else? Okay. So you can just double click that to open it up. Now this new window that comes up, is going to represent our UI. And what we want to do is we want to set this up. So right now, every, you can imagine everything is um, alphaed out and we wouldn't see anything. And if I were to add something like, for example, text, uh, if you go up here in the top left, you'll see your palette. You can add things like buttons, images, text, and whatnot. We, we want the text. So I'm going to click. Uh, text, not text box. This is like an input thing that people can type into. Um, text, drag it in into the middle here. And then you can resize it. I'm just going to pull this thing out just a little bit like that. <clears throat> Figure out how you want your text to wrap. Say so that's pretty good. And this text right here, a few things. It's going to be a little bit small, but it's also justified in the top left, and we don't want that. So you can see all your text details over here on the right in um, appearance and maybe some stuff above that. So come down to, well, first let's make this bigger. I think like, and let's try doubling this um, 54, what's that, 48? Actually, that's pretty good. Um, I'll try that out first. And for justification, um, come here to the middle, align text center. I think that's pretty good. Um, we'll, we'll do something like that. Okay. Um, what else? So now we have our text, but if we were to show this on screen, um, we're still not, we don't have a background or anything. So I want to make a solid black background to be behind our text. We just want to bring up a totally, um, totally different, pa not panel, sorry, uh, black background with white text. You could technically make a separate camera and uh, do something with that. But for me, I think I'm just gonna keep it easy and do this with an image in the background. So um, before we add the image, right here under hierarchy, I am gonna relabel this and call this um, intro text like that, just to keep this organized. And then I'm going to drag in an image like that. And you can scale this out. Um, there's other ways you can, you can do this, like your anchors. You could stretch this out to the entire thing if you want, and then just zero. Like if, if you do um, anchors, whoop, sorry. If you do anchors and you do full, uh, that means that your anchors are all on the edges. So at that point, you should just be able to zero, 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 zero. And that's one way to stretch it across the entire thing. <clears throat> After you do that, come down to your uh, color and opacity on your image with your image selected. And just, uh, sorry, I don't want the opacity. I want the, um, let's just drag 
Nope, sorry, that is lightness. Okay, make it entirely black. So color and opacity right there. Um, full, yeah, full alpha. Um, that is what I want, okay. So our image should be full black background. And you're not seeing the text probably because this is uh, behind it. So make sure that you reorganize this, drag your image above it like that. So your text should be in front and your background. I'm actually gonna relabel this background. So select that, hit F2 and background. Okay, so you have your text, you have your background and let's actually type this text into what we want. So for this, um, for the project that I'm building, I want to create some sort of text or some sort of quote that uh, comes up at the very beginning. For me, I'm doing something horror related. So you can look up something called um, two sentence horror, two sentence horror, and you get a lot of results, but basically it's two sentences that are meant to uh, be scary or creepy in some way. And I found one that I like, so I'm just gonna use that, but you can you can find others you want. Basically, just find a quote that you want to pop up, um, unless you're working on a project that specifically says what to do. So uh, right here, text block, type in your quote over here on content under text. Um, so just replace this text box. Make sure you have your text selected over here and type in whatever you want your quote to be. So for me, it's gonna be, just type this in. And if you need some breaks, um, it's not, not a break from this, but uh, breaks, line breaks, then you can hold shift and press enter. I'm gonna I hold shift and I press enter twice. And then I'm going to uh, complete my second sentence. Cool. All right, so this is my quote. I'm just gonna resize that like that okay so now once you have this done and you have the look exactly how you want it um that that will wrap up the design portion and then we will go into how to animate this because what i want to do is i want to have this fade in and then i want it to fade out and then i want my background to fade out so that we can move into the camera so we will do that next but make sure that your look is how you want it in this portion uh, and once you complete that, you can keep going.